Okay, so this is about, rather than going through step by step and showing you every little bit of detail that I do in a painting, this is more about explaining the process of painting from start to finish. We're going to go out, find some good locations, take some sketchbooks with us and do a bit of work out there. Then we're going to come back to the studio, work those drawings up into bigger drawings, do some quick paintings and then finally work those into larger paintings which will hopefully have some good results at the end. So it's going to be a fairly informal look at the way I work so it'll show you some of the mistakes I make as well, not just uh, the finished thing. So this is about having fun with paint, we're not going to worry too much about pre-planning or pre-drawing, just seeing what the paint can do and editing while we go. I'm going to be using something called Atelier Interactive which is an acrylic paint but it's very different from any acrylic paint that you will have used before. You can go back to it at any point and get the colours that you've already put on working again. So you can go back, spray with water, re-blend everything, or even if it's been dry months, you can go back with an unlocking formula, respray it and get everything working again. So you can always go back and edit with this paint, so it's fantastic stuff. I'm on Lincoln South Common. Um, what I think I'm going to do is climb to the top where there's some fantastic views of the city and the cathedral. Um, when I'm up there I'm going to make some really quick sketches with pen, uh, just try and capture some composition. Okay, so I've wandered up to the top of the common and I think I found the perfect spot to do some initial sketching work from. So we've got a really good view out across Lincoln, cathedral on the horizon, so we'll be able to get plenty of detail work in and make some really good initial sketches. What I want to do is just get a basic idea of the composition here. So all I'm going to do to start with is get a big old marker pen and you may think that's quite a strange thing to use when I've got such a detailed view in front of me but what I want to do is just loosen up, get some marks down and get a feel for the general composition without being too worried about getting every last bit of detail in initially. So just going to make some quick sketches with the marker pen, fill out the basic compositional details and then work in some more detail from there later on. using the pen to make some very quick marks. Again, not too worried about detail at this point. All I'm trying to do is capture what's in front of me in a very basic, a very minimal way and just get some bold marks down so I've got a reference point when I get back to the studio. And using a marker pen just helps you to loosen up because there's no editing, you can't rub it out, you can't go back. When the mark's there, it's there. So it forces you to kind of loosen up and not worry too much about your drawing at the initial stages and just, you know, relax and, and learn more about the subject through making bold marks. Okay, so I'm just going to change now, go onto a fresh page. And what I want to do is just make some very quick little rectangles that I can just fill out the basic composition in so I've got a reference point for when I take some photographs and then when I get back to the studio for working it into a larger image. So these just very quick little studies that are just going to help me position things really, get my key components in the right place and just show me roughly what's going to go where. So just thinking about the position of the cathedral, where that's going to come along my horizon line, because let's face it, we don't go straight into a painting without giving any thought to these things. So these initial steps are quite important for getting everything in the right place before you then go on to make your larger painting. So what I'm thinking about when I'm doing this is where I want to position that cathedral on the horizon line, how that's going to work in the composition of the painting, where it's going to look best. So they're the main things I'm thinking about initially at this stage when I'm doing these quick studies. And then I'll just make one sort of final large compositional study with pen before I go on and do a bit more detail work and take some photographs. So I'm just working very quickly here just trying to establish the main points in my view. I've got these nice sort of trees in front of me where we're elevated on the common so I'm going to try and include those just to kind of frame the image. So 
so they'll be quite dark in my foreground. And then everything recedes back towards the horizon line. So just gonna pop in the city and then just some marks, just to summarize, just roughly where the cathedral is gonna go. Again, I'm not being too accurate, not trying to be perfect, get every bit of detail in. because I'm gonna take photographs. I'm gonna work up the drawings back in the studio. So this is just about getting the basics down. Uh, just putting in some little marks just to give myself a sense of distance and perspective. Just little visual reminders for myself that I just think, oh, that tree was about that size there. Something small down there on a path. So just little clues that will remind me when I get back to the studio what was there on the day. Okay, so just gonna make a few more quick sketches and then I'm gonna take some photographs. So I've got a reference point for when I get back to the studio and then we'll get out of here, go back to the studio and uh, see what we've got. So I'm back at the studio now. I'm gonna have a quick look through the sketches we made when we were on the common and uh, see which ones are going to work for the final painting. So just looking through these, all I'm looking for really is ones that captured the composition and then I'm going to work those up into a larger drawing to start with. So I've got some paper ready to go. Again, just using a pen, uh, just going to go in and just work out the final composition for the picture. Just thinking of the overall dimensions, where we're going to place the cathedral in the picture, because that's the main focus point. That's going to be sort of a third along in that kind of golden area, um, which is where your eye focuses in the painting. So just thinking roughly where I want to position that. So somewhere around here. And then we've got the city sort of sloping down, the foliage in the foreground. So just going to start to quickly with the pen block in where these bits are going to go and the cathedral is sort of on my horizon line yeah. this is very quick I'm not being too precious with this you know this is just about getting the composition down I don't need to be faffing around doing the detail work at this point, okay? Just getting the composition. Something like that. I'm just blocking in some of the larger lines, break the composition up, so we've got a city in this area. There was quite a prominent area of sort of dark foliage right in our foreground on the common. So I'm just going to put that in the corner of the picture just to frame that, um, which will help give you a sense of perspective, a sense of distance, and help you to lead your eye into the picture. So just in the bottom corner, of my image. There's going to be quite a dark area of foliage. So just going to indicate where that goes. So that's going to kind of frame the image and lead your eye in. You'll have the cathedral on the back there, the city common down here. A few little marks will give us a suggestion of the perspective, the scale of the image. That's very important. You want to get that sense of scale. Certainly with a view like this, it's useful to have some little indications of scale. So small marks to represent trees, you know, if you want to put people in, you can. Anything that will give you a sense of depth. Um, and just thinking about where my highlights are going to be, there was quite a lot of light foliage in this front area again. The city was fairly dark, so just going to mask that in, in pen, cathedral on the horizon, 
and it was a fairly, fairly sort of saturated blue sky. There wasn't much in the way of clouds or, or detail in it, but we'll just put some marks in that will just give us a suggestion. We don't want a flat blue sky, you know, boring. We want some marks just giving us a suggestion of movement in the sky there. So what I've tried to do is get a composition that draws your eye in about a third of the way along the image. You've got your cathedral, which is obviously your focus point. Nice dark foreground area here that will lead your eye in. Some sense of scale with these small marks. And you've got your horizon line there. And pens are a fantastic thing to draw with because you can't edit your mistakes. You've got to do it right first time. And it sort of loosens you up, stops you being too precious, you know, forces you to be inventive and to work freely. Yeah, something like that. Going to leave that there. And what I'm going to do now is, just on a small canvas board, I'm going to get some of my paints out and just very loosely block in the main areas of colour. And again, working on that composition to get everything gelling together. So just going to grab some paints now, a small canvas board, uh, and just whack some paint on before we do anything else.